What type of world do we live in uh, where it's been reported to me today by Jake, so it must be true, this is from the, uh, the Norfolk and Suffolk hotbed of uh, GCHQ based up there in Lowestoft, he has heard and seen that a black man who is a YouTuber, yeah. what's that mean? He tubes on the U, a YouTuber, yeah. he blogs and things. Yeah. Anyway, he said the P word, the, uh, that word, and he's had to apologise for it. Well, well, uh, hang on a minute, don't you get a pass if you're a black man, if you talk about other people that are not white? I thought it was only the white people that got it up the arse for saying words that you shouldn't, N-words, P-words, O-words, D-words, any type of word, any letter will do now. But, as I said before, uh, can you call someone a starny? It, because there's only half in the joke, Aussie, Swede, frog, what about the old frogs then? Do we care? No, not really. But this man's had to apologise. I think it's going a bit mad. And we also got a look at today that the Magdal Magdal Mag Mag uh, some college full of lefty, pinko, tree-hugging, vegan, muesli-eating, sandal-wearing, Jeremy corbyn supporting, Guardian-reading, save the well, glue yourself to the M25 morons, students, could have saved myself all that by just saying students. Right, they've decided they're not going to have St George's Day. No, they're not going to have that. They're going to celebrate Eid instead. What? Uh, this is happening quite a lot now. Are we becoming a Muslim country? I lived in a Muslim country. It's different uh, to here. Are we becoming a Muslim country? We were a Christian country last time I left. Now, people are cancelling Easter. They tell me John Lewis's are not celebrating Easter in any of their stuff, but they're, some, they're celebrating Eid. Well, I don't want an Eid egg. I, I want a, a proper egg. Yes. So, Easter egg, I like Easter eggs a lot. I like the ones with the Smarties in them. I like Smarties, didn't you? Hmm. Who invented that? I'll tell you what we do. Well, invent a little chocolate thing that big and put some stuff around it. You can't get them anymore, can you? Do you remember peanut treats? I used to like them. You'd be eating them for a week, wouldn't you, if you had one bag? Anyway, let's move on and talk about my relationship because I saw a picture uh, in the uh, Daily Mail today online, a picture of a sombre looking Jim Davidson from the first time that he had come out of his studios, Ustream Studios, in Whiteley, uh, looking somber since his split from his wife. It's, 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 I'm just getting in the car. I weren't looking somber. What do you mean? Anyone get in their car like that? Ha ha ha! Here's my car. I'm gonna get in my car. And it said he was sporting a black turtleneck with a gold watch and a gold chain, with his silver hair left curly. <laughs> <laughs> and a pair of square glasses. Well, let's just talk about relationships, okay, before we go over to you, Stream. Relationships. Lads, would you share a bed with someone that doesn't change their underwear for three or four days, that stinks of vodka and uh, wine all the time, um, uh, that farts and fidgets and grinds their teeth hmm? and snores? Would you sleep with someone like that? Well, neither will she. So that's, uh, that's the end of that. Right, so now then, we have the comedians down in uh, South Sea at the Gaiety Bar. And uh, it's for two nights on the 17th and 18th of May. It's going to be great. You can get your tickets down there. There is a phone number for the box office, but your best bet is to go online. And we're going to put a little link below here now to go and see it. On there is me. They've conned me into it. Me. Mike Osman, Bobby Davro, Jimmy Jones, Duncan Norvell. It, 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 there's some really, really good names on that. My old mate John Maloney, who we used to go on tour with, uh, he's doing it. Ricky Lane, who is basically uh, the rebirth of Bernard Manning. It's going to be lots and lots of jokes. And there's also going to be a big display down there telling you all what Ustream is about and giving you a chance to sign up. So all you people that haven't signed yet, very simple, go on television, go to your app store, select the Ustream app and do the flollop it and click it in there and you're away. Okay, so let's go and see what you're going to see when you sign up. Turn the page, Jake. Head over to the Ustream shop now for exclusive merchandise and goodies, including Ustream polo shirts, Schuylio t-shirts, and some I don't care, do I t-shirts. Treat yourself or a mate to our exclusive mugs. 
You can also buy a DVD, Ustream original live concerts, including me, Danny Postill, and in fact, loads of stuff, even the fantastic Boobs in the Wood. Go to ustream.news forward slash shop.